Hi all folks, this is Smash from TransformerPrimeRoot.com and AndroLinux.com. Um, so today we're going to try to put Ubuntu uh, CH rooted running on top of our Transformer Prime. Um, I've said before, I said this before uh, when I had my Galaxy Tab and I put Ubuntu on it, um, and it was kind of slow. But with the quad core processor, it should be faster. So let's go find out. Oh, folks, so first thing you're going to do is uh, root your Transformer Prime. Um, if you have, don't have it rooted, make sure you root it. Uh, install BusyBox. Um, if you use my method at transformerprimeroot.com, um, you'll get all of that. Make sure you have done root it and ins BusyBox installed. And once you've done that, uh, we're going to connect it to our computer and simply copy over the Ubuntu uh, folder that you're going to download. So I'll show you that too. So you should get uh, um, connected as a disk drive here, and then um, you get internal storage. By the way, you can do this on Mac or Linux; it doesn't really matter, or Windows. Go to your internal storage, and this is your internal storage. Make sure you have enough room. This is like two gigs, and then go download uh, Ubuntu.zip. And if you unzip it, you get a folder called Ubuntu, um, and basically copy it over to your internal storage. Uh, and once that's copied over, um, we'll be ready to boot it. Um, so I'll be right back. Hi right, folks, so uh, copying is complete and let's go back to our tablet. Next you'll go to your tablet, um, you transform Prime, and uh, download this app. This is a free app, Terminal Emulator, and uh, you can get this app free on the market. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, it's that one right there, Terminal Emulator. And uh, go open it, and we're gonna just basically enter a couple commands, and we should be able to get uh, Ubuntu running along with Android. So um, do su, and uh, if it asks you for super user permission, just click allow. And then we're gonna do cd um, backslash sd card backslash Ubuntu. Right, and you can do ls to see what files are in there, and you only have to run this uh, file once. And to run it, you do sh space uh, ubuntu dot sh. You don't have to. You can skip this part whenever you run it. Um, you do that, um, and you get this thing. And just type boot ubuntu. The the first command cd backslash uh, sd card backslash ubuntu, and then all you have to do is type ubuntu after the one time you do it. Bit Ubuntu. Alright. And then type um, CD. Enter. And then type sh run dot sh. This will, uh, it's a script, I wrote a little script that will run the um, type VNC so you can actually use the um, graphical interface. And also install um, open SSH so you can use uh, SSH to log in. Password is 123123 for the uh, root and also for VNC also. Because I, I found that I have previous and then previous uh, videos about with the Galaxy Tab. And people are having trouble just entering these commands so I made it into a script. Great, right? And you can leave this alone. Now it's your uh, Ubuntu is officially running in the background. And also your X desktop is running as a X type VNC process, and also um, you can see SSH server is running secure, OpenBSE secure shell server. Go to home, and you can download this app called the um, Android VNC on the market, and that's what I download it and uh, hit that, and then close. And all you have to set a nickname. I just put it this. Password is 123123. Set address to 127.0.0.1. Port 5901. Connect. And voila, you have Ubuntu on your um, transformer. I, I think this process is a lot simpler. Um, anyway, we can. You can actually connect a Bluetooth mouth and. <laughs> mouth. Mouse and a keyboard. Um, and uh, I've sh I actually got my. Um, Bluetooth keyboard here, so I'll just um, let's go to Engadget real quick. Oops. It's good if you have a Bluetooth mouth because this touch one is 
It's all right. Is it working? Ah, right, you know what? Also, what you can do is hit menu button and just say uh, send text if you don't have a keyboard, and type like in. Um, yeah. It. Dot com. Kind of slow, but. Oops. Send text. And then you can choose a gadget. Um, I would say, honestly, the speed is actually laggy, and uh, it's about the same as Galaxy Tab 10.1 that I tried. And I had high hopes that quad core would finally bring up the speed of uh, running Ubuntu. But I think the bottleneck isn't um, in the processor. The bottleneck is actually the um, the internal storage. I think it's some, some kind of was it EMMC or whatever. And uh, I think if it was using SSD or something, it would go really fast, um, obviously. But I did see an improvement um, on the shell side, which is the um, shell side. So I would say this would be a very good uh, um, shell environment that you can use. It's much faster. Um, I'll do some commands here, like top. And it's just instant, and you can see the processes there. And that's Ubuntu running, and uh, I think this can be very good for uh, people like you know develop Android kernels. I know you guys compile all kinds of stuff, that, but you can use your tablet device as a Ubuntu um, compiling device. And uh, let me get out of here. And LSDF, um, really fast. Before before on the Galaxy Tab 10.1, we did see a lot of uh, delays and stuff, but no lag whatsoever. Um, what else can I do? Uh, let me see. Let me think. Oh, let me let me do a in demo of installing an Nginx server. Um, so you can do apt. Um, where's dash? Ah. Okay. Uh, Oh, there we go. Just cheese. Apt get. Throw my keys away. Install. I know what happened. Uh, my Bluetooth finally connected and then it actually toggled. Um, there's a toggle button and then I actually pressed that. Anyway, let me do apt get um, install. Let me try installing a web server here. Nginx. And we'll see how fast. This thing goes flies through pretty fast. I mean, I haven't tried anything more complex than this, um, but you'll see it goes pretty fast, and download speeds are pretty fast too, which shows it's a, it's a really good uh, you know Ubuntu running for like you know uh, educational purposes or maybe you're compiling stuff or you just need to be in Linux Ubuntu environment. Then I think this would be a very still very good candidate, very fast. Um, just it's not gonna run you know the GUI that fast so it installed nginx server pretty fast 129 kilobytes per second and I can always go back to um, here we go go back to VNC and see the um, the GUI mode which is it's not the heart of Ubuntu or the purpose of putting you know Ubuntu on your um, tablet even I did put um, Ubuntu running natively on my other transformer, the regular transformer, and it was very, very laggy. Just, you know, there's not enough, uh, there's not really a native graphical support, I think, for this uh, Ubuntu. Although Ubuntu, I know they're working on it, so when that changes, native might work, but this is a really great method just to have Ubuntu on there, and, you know, everything's actually really fast. Um, in shell. Just in graphical, I mean, you're using VNC also, so it's going to slow down way more. But anyway, that was how you install uh, Ubuntu Linux on top of your Transformer uh, Asus or Asus um, Transformer Prime. Anyway, uh, check out more stuff um, over at transformerroot.com, and also I'll sh I should have some more fun stuff um, updates, not just install Ubuntu. Maybe I'll install a web server on my. Um, newly installed um, Ubuntu here. So anyway, subscribe and uh, we'll see you all later. See y'all later. All right.